Hey everybody, so today I want to share um, some of my favorite life skills related to one of my favorite public spaces, which is the public library. So I just, I love the library and a recent visit with my daughter to our public library uh, reminded me that there are like a slew of really simple but crucial things that you can teach your kids in this awesome gem of a public space and it'll help them become more independent and when they're learning to do research, you know, in the future, they'll have the skills to do it. Okay, so I wanna share eight key tips. Um, the first one is really basic, but a lot of people don't have it, and it's to get a library card. Um, hooray for ownership. Your kid will love to have something that they can sign their name to. If you can believe it, I still have my, you know, city library card from, because I grew up in the Boston area, I still have it from elementary school with my little scratchy signature on it. So um, yeah, I've lost many a thing over the years, but not my library card. So grab that. And another pro tip is that we use just like a simple tote bag as our library hub. Card lives in the bag and you know, that bag lives in the same place in the living room. So the kids know where to put their books when they're done and where to get a new one when they need something to read. Um, second, really simple tip in the library, but it is to identify where the checkout and where the returns are. Now, I know this seems really simple, but I need to reinforce it because it just drives home the concept that libraries are a place of sharing and responsibility. You need to have a card to check stuff out. And when you bring stuff back, you need to put it in the right place. Um, related to that, tip three is to show your kids where the after hours drop box is. So, um, uh, so first, <laughs> Teach them that this is just a place for books, no rocks, no flowers, no odd things. Um, and that second, it's really after hours only. So if the library is open and they've got something returned, they've got to walk their way inside to the returns desk. Okay, fourth. Now this is the thing that spurred this video and the companion blog post that's on my website. I'll link it up in case you want to um, take a look at it in bookmark it but um, teach your kids how to use the computer catalog. So my eight-year-old actually asked me um, to teach her when we are at a recent library visit. And so we sat down at a terminal. I showed her like what the little icon was she needed to click on in case it wasn't already open. She typed in the title of the book, which she knew. And then, um, you know, the returns show the covers of the book, which was really helpful. So she could say, oh yeah, that's the one. And then the two pieces of information I told her to look for were one, um, whether it's in or not at our library location. And then two, if it was in, um, to tell her what information to look for in order to find it. So in the case of the book she was looking for, it was last name of the author. You know, in the case of older um, kids and adults books, it'll be numerical. Um, so yeah, we'll get to more on the finding, but actually the next point is number five is to how to find the books. So after we had her author name, we walked over to the children's stacks and I showed her what direction the alphabet went in and um, that she needed to find it alphabetically. So it was really, really cute to see her like run, run along and look at the spines um, to find um, the name of her author. Now it was not on the shelf. And so I'll get to that point about what to do next in just a minute. But my sixth tip is to talk about fines. Now, I think that libraries could really be charging a little bit more for their fines. They're pretty small, but I think the point is just to reinforce the concept that there is a responsibility to borrowing books. And part of that is returning them on time or paying a late fee if you don't return them on time. Seven, talk to your kids and explain the life-changing magic of holds and renewals. <laughs> I use the online, you know, the website for my library all the time, both to, um, you know, tap in books that I would like to request. And honestly, it's just like magic that that system, you know, exists. And sometimes it's kind of like a surprise because if it's a really popular book, it'll take a few months to get there. Sometimes it's lightning quick. So, um, you know, and it's a good exercise with your kids to tell them, you know, you might have to wait. Like it's not immediate gratification. Like if you decide to order a book online, which you can do if you really want something immediately. Um, and then also I use it for renewals, which is something good to talk to your kids about, um, the fact that they can renew books and also that they may, you know, want to renew a book and somebody else might have put a hold on it. And so they need to return it. So a lot of life skills rolled into the library. Okay. And then the last tip is sort of my, you know, library life skills plus social skills twofer. And I love it so much. 
and it is to use the library as an opportunity to um, teach your kids how to engage with the staff. Libraries are typically replete with awesome, knowledgeable, really just full of knowledge people, and they're ready to help you. And so what happened the other week when I was with my daughter is, you know, she looked up the book, she went to the stacks to find it, and it wasn't there. So we stood there for a second and I said, you know, personally, I'm always looking for like ways to like teach my kids how to engage in the world with people. So I said, why don't we just like go to the children's librarian and, you know, ask them if they might know, like if there's somewhere else to look uh, for where it may be. And you're going to be the one doing the asking. So uh, my daughter was like a smidge reluctant, but she really wanted that book. So we walked over to the librarian's desk and, you know, kind of in her small voice, she walked through what happened. She said she looked it up in the card catalog. It said it was in. She went to the stacks. It wasn't there. And so the librarian was like, okay, all right, good. She got all the information. And then seriously, in like a minute, she was like a rock star to my kid because she went into like whatever the secret staff portal is, typed in the book title. She already knew the book. Um, and was able to see that the book had been checked in just an hour before, which therefore led her to know, be pretty certain she knew where it was behind the checkouts desk in the carts waiting to go back onto the floor to be reshelved. It was awesome. So, <laughs> so it was just a really great reinforcing experience, um, you know, for my little eight year old to like, explain a problem to a different grown up that she didn't know in a polite way and then have that person help her it was really, really cool. So anyway, those are my favorite kind of key library life skills tips. If you have other ones, drop them in the comments. And I'll also link um, the blog post where I kind of, you know, just outline these in long form because if you're looking for book recommendations, I link to a bunch of posts that I've, I've shared on, um, you know, great picture books for kids awesome read alouds with kids, um, tween book recommendations, great books for grownups and more. So um, I love reading. I hope that this book, this um, video will inspire you to do some reading. Um, head to the library and tell me what you're reading.